Hey y'all, welcome back. Um, hey, I wanted to do a, a quick tutorial on uh, the song Hills and Valleys by Torin Wells. Uh, I'm going to be playing it this weekend. Uh, and I, I couldn't find any like good acoustic versions of it. Uh, actually, there were, there were a bunch of tutorials. They were a little bit on the simple side, very good, but I uh, wanted to do something with a little bit more vibe maybe. Uh, incidentally, in the background, our uh, sound guy got a new soundboard and is, is rocking back there. So if, if you hear something, it's sort of sound checky type of stuff. Anyhow, I wanted to walk through sort of like a John Mayery type of vibe on this thing. It's very simple. Uh, this, the song is uh, simple as far as the harmonic uh, way that it starts. I'm going to play it in the key of C. He plays it in the key of D. You can capo it too. You could also do this in the, you know, straight in the key of D if you wanted, but I'm going to just do uh, these chord voicings are pretty nice. I'm going to start off with an A minor 7, and let me let me play the basic vibe for you, and then I'll show you the, the voicings. So that's your basic uh, loop that I'm going to have. Uh, I'm going to start off with an A minor 7 chord. It looks just like a C chord with no third finger, and I'm going to keep a G on for all of these. Normally when you're in a key, the fifth note of the key can work on most all of the chords. And when you play the chords and you have these like, I'm going to have these top three strings ringing on it. It sort of like ties everything together and it, it just has a good sound, especially for like the CCM vibe. So I'm going to start off with this A minor seven chord. Then I'm going to go to a C chord with a G bass. So I'm going to keep that exact same fingering and I'm going to go like this. Then I'm going to go to an F2. The way that I do this is I play it with my second, my, my thumb, and then third open. Again, those top three strings are going to be the exact same thing, but I use my thumb. I guess you could probably get a different fingering. I don't know. It would be tricky, but I, I like my thumb on it. And then back to a regular C chord. And then I'm getting this sort of like a... vibe. And I'm going to do like this. Ba da 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 ba. So, so I did thumb, first, second, third, snap. And when I do that snap, I'm getting with my thumb and my fingernails on it. And then I'm, I'm in this position where I've got thumb, one, two, three, and four. And I get all of those with my, so I have all four of these fingers on my four high strings and my thumb on the low string. When I start though, I, I do thumb, thumb, one, two. Uh, thumb, thumb, one, two, sorry, thumb, thumb, one, two, and three together. And then the exact same pattern on the F. So again. with these two together. So. so again, time. Sometimes I'll put that B note in there as a walk down note. Sometimes I'll also get that backbeat on the. If I do that though, I let the high strings ring and I just get my thumb on that. So. Sometimes I'll alter the pattern. So I might do like. So I did like. So thumb, three fingers, thumb, three fingers. Okay, and then one last variation. When I get into the chorus, I want it to pop a little bit more, so I'll do, um, I'll do some strumming. I do it with my fingernails. A lot of times I'll go all of my fingers through it, almost like a flamenco. You know, that sort of sound where I'm like brushing my way through. And I'll do like this. Uh... So. My 
like it, hammer ons. Last part of the song, uh, so that's some variations on it. Last part of the song is the pre chorus. Um, that's like a D minor. I normally play the D minor set up with my third finger with my fourth, uh, just because I can get to other fingerings of other chords a lot faster, but however you like, it's fine. But uh, So A minor, G, and then uh, And then I'm back to the uh, all right well hopefully that gives you some ideas that's, that's a little bit of a scattered lesson but uh, it'll give you some ideas to be able to pick your way through um, Torin Wells hills and valleys and until next time God bless